This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. We pay the SAU, which we get seven. We get all the money back, but seventy percent of it is paid by the Keen um, voters. All right, so that's Keen, New Hampshire's new mayoral candidate, Chris Roberts, doing something that sometimes seems alien to Keen politics. He's being transparent and accessible when facing Ridley questions. Oftentimes, such a disposition coincides with a pro-freedom or relatively pro-freedom voting record, and in this case, it's not really an exception. By Keen standards, Roberts is pretty pro-freedom. Maybe I should say by Keen government standards. Since he's been in the state house a long time as a, as a rep. Well, here's a, here's a, when the United States was formed, there was about three million citizens. It's possible to actually put a numerical value on that. When I checked his New Hampshire Liberty Alliance rankings for roughly 2005 and 2014, he, I think, had a 40 and a 36, respectively. Now, that would mean a 36 to 40 percent pro-freedom voting record. Again, not good, but good by Keene standards. Do you have any concerns about that video that surfaced of an uh, EMT uh, swiping a reporter's camera the other day? I mean, you compare him to the uh, neo-Politburo types that have been running the show in the mayor's chair in Keene since uh, Blastos, since after Blastos, or Blatsis, I can't remember how it's pronounced, uh, Roberts comes out looking pretty good. This is Mayor Pregen here who uh, who took over from uh, Blastos slash Blatsis uh, back around 2007, I think. Can I do anything with my teeth here? It feels like I got a leaf or something and stuck in there. Uh, maybe a little more recently. Now, how much freedom do you really get from having a personable established politician raising your taxes as opposed to a dour or bland authoritarian doing it? I don't know, but at least Robert's track record is not 100% pro-government. Lane is the guy who helped the current mayor and who's running again. Uh, he's the guy who helped spearhead the efforts to militarize King Police Department. And Pregen is the guy that had people arrested oh, in 2009, I think, so it must have been. Uh, he must have still been in office then. He had people arrested for drinking water out of the wrong color containers and refusing to submit the water for search. Preaching is the guy. Preaching is the guy. Uh, mayor Lane, for his part, uh, the current mayor who's running again, uh, gave an, an inaugural address in which he touted five or ten spending programs, uh, but only mentioned one savings program, which might not even really be a savings program. It's funny, after so many years of being in... Uh, in Keene politics, on the school board, uh, he might have been on, on the city council at some point, I don't know, uh, and in, in the state rep capacity, you actually have to look for things to complain about with Chris Roberts. That's just kind of, that's kind of special. Uh, the, the bad things about him, they're there, I'm sure, but they don't just jump out and, and bite you. Uh, Mayor Blastos, slash Blatsos, however you say it, uh, back, you know, in the, in the mid-aughts, had a lot of these endearing characteristics, and I guess it would probably be nice to have that back in the form of Chris Roberts. If Keene is truly New Hampshire's North Korea, and it is, in a soft fascism sort of way, then uh, maybe Chris Roberts is her Mikhail Gorbachev. Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending, cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers. Freaking.com